Handheld stabilizers with a gimbal design are a great way to get your camera off the tripod and into the action without bringing back shaky footage. Let's take a look at two affordable steadying devices for your camcorder or DSLR. One of the key ingredients to getting flawless, smooth, handheld video is to use a steadying device with a gimbal design. This Glidecam XR2000 is one example. The adjustable three-axis gimbal isolates the camera from your body, minimizing unwanted shake and horizontal movement. Now this is going to allow you to make video that looks like it's coming from a camera floating along in midair. But capturing smooth video takes some time and practice. You'll need to spend about 30 minutes or so following the instructions and balancing the XR2000 for your specific camera. It's designed for compact, low-profile cameras between 2 to 6 pounds. It's important to stick to the weight requirements, or you may not be able to balance the rig. I've paired it with a Nikon D3200 with an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. And once you have the camera mounted, you want the rig to be slightly bottom-heavy. Adding counterweights on the bottom base plate will help you achieve that. The Glidecam instructions will show you how to set it up perfectly for your camera. Once you have it balanced, so the camera remains upright, you'll need to adjust the screws on the camera platform to position the camera in a perfectly balanced horizontal position. Then, once you get it all set up, you may want to mark the settings with a wax pencil so you don't have to go through the entire setup process again if you switch cameras. It can be a pain to unscrew the camera every time you want to take it off the rig. Adding a quick release plate is one way to make it easier. B&H does offer a kit with a 577 quick release plate, or you can purchase one separately. The center column on the XR2000 is adjustable in height with the twist of a knob. In its most compact form, this stabilizer stands about 15 inches tall. It's small enough to travel with and pack away relatively easily. With the center column fully extended, it's 22 inches tall. The bottom base plate has little rubber feet, so it's easy to set the glide cam down with the camera still mounted and use it for static shots or when you just need to take a break, as long as the surface that you put it down on is smooth and flat like a desktop. The XR2000 is made from aluminum. The foam handle grip is comfortable to grasp. Now this steadying device is great if you're shooting in relatively short bursts, but it won't take long before you really feel the strain on your arm. Even with a lightweight camera, a long shoot can be grueling. One last feature that I'd like to point out on this glide cam is the quarter inch hole in the bottom base plate that can hold an optional LCD monitor. But again, that's adding weight to the whole setup and your arm will feel it. Now, the Stealthy Stabilizer by Verizoom works a little differently. First off, there are a lot more moving parts here. Now that's because the Stealthy offers a few additional shooting modes. In its most compact form, you can use it handheld, but I don't think that this is the best way to capture smooth footage with the Stealthy. In fact, I only fold it up to this mode when I want to clip it on the included belt clip. It's lightweight enough to clip it on if you need to be hands-free for a little while. From here, unfold the back leg at the hinge about halfway. Verizoom calls this the telescoping pod. You can fit the plastic foot right into that little pocket between your chest and your shoulder, and that will help steady the camera. And now you've turned the Stealthy into a rig with three points of contact, or a three-point shooter. This provides some extra support, especially if you're moving through crowds. Also, in this bent three-point shooter position, you can set the entire rig down on a table for static shots. Just make sure that your camera is balanced on top so that the entire thing doesn't pitch over. Now flip that bent leg down all the way and lock it into place to use the Stealthy like a monopod. This can be really useful if you have a small, flat surface to brace the rig on, like a ledge. You can purchase an optional, long monopod accessory that will extend down to the floor if you wish. Finally, unlock the handle, loosen the gimbal, and balance out the camera with the included counterweights to employ the gimbal on this steadying device. Verizoom has a specific video tutorial to help you set it all up. Two little features that I think you'll appreciate with the Stealthy is the tilting head platform and included quick release plate. Depending on what mode you're shooting in, the tilting camera platform will make it easier to capture level video. Let's move on to technique and body movement. 
One reason why these stabilizers are popular is because working with one allows you to capture boom shots or smooth tracking or 360 degree panning shots. Movement that's hard to achieve handheld and otherwise requires dollies and jib arms. Actually capturing smooth footage with a gimbal-based stabilizer is not something that you're going to master overnight. It takes practice, but here are some tips to help you get it down. Static balance is balance as the device hangs. Dynamic balance is balance as the device spins. Static balance is the foundation for being steady while standing still. But dynamic balance is essential to keeping your shots steady as you move and change directions, and especially as you spin the camera to follow action. For dynamic balance, the camera needs to remain on axis as you spin or pan the device. With the XR2000, placing two or three fingers on the center column just below the gimbal is the best way to turn or pan the camera. Slight pressure or spin on that center column will allow the rig to stay level and stable as you move through a scene. I found it a little more difficult on the VeraZoom Stealthy. The gimbal is very sensitive and even the most delicate touch can send it spinning, so it may take a little more practice to master your camera movements on this stabilizer. Now you can either use your thumb on your grip hand to control the camera movement, or you can use the thumb and forefinger of your opposite hand. Now let's move on to operation and body movement. Footwork is very important. Planning your steps and the camera movement in advance is truly the key to keeping your subject in frame while you're moving. Walking lightly without a lot of impact will help keep your camera from shaking, and trying to keep your shoulders parallel to the ground will reduce the amount of up and down movement. Deciding your route first is also important because you have to start manipulating the gimbal in advance of the camera direction change. Now, since these steadying devices are designed to stay in perfect balance, you have to start your intended camera movement early to not cause any sudden jerks. The main factor to remember here is that the more you let the rig do what it's designed to do, which is fly effortlessly with very minimal contact, the smoother your shots will be. Now that you have all that down, with some practice, you'll be capturing smooth floating video in no time. That is, until external factors like wind or movement throw the gimbal out of balance. Some call this unwanted movement a pendulum effect. Your best bet is to just repeat the move if possible until you learn to compensate for the outside factors or the factors go away. Now if you're working in a crowd, try using a spotter to help out. Overall, it's much simpler than it might sound, but it does take a lot of practice to get right. Some call it an art form, and many dedicate their whole careers to mastering this niche of camera operation on much larger, more expensive stabilizing rigs. But by adding a steadying device to your kit, you can create some of the most dynamic and cinematic camera moves for your next production or reel. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. Scott Kelby here and welcome to this quick tour of our online training. We have hundreds of online classes for you covering everything from lighting to landscape photography. From portrait photography to sports, we have classes on wedding, Automotive photography, shooting, food, fashion, travel, you name it. The most incredible part of this is the price. You get all of this for just $199 a year, or you can pay monthly for just $24.95. 24 hour a day, seven day a week access from anywhere in the world. I invite you to join with us today and start learning right now.